Good morning. Uh, today I'd like to um, present our 5C10.30 uh, parallel plate capacitor demonstration. Uh, what this demonstration does well is allow us to see the effect of ability to hold this capacitor to hold charge. And this is a label uh, capacitor that allows us to vary the uh, distance between the two plates so we can actually see the effect of the uh, that this is going to have on the electric field. To charge it we have a Windhurst uh, electrostatic generator which brings me to a point uh, that uh, all this is electrostatic so it works best on a low humidity day. Uh, the main culprit here is this open air electroscope. Basically the open air electroscope allows the students to see the needle move on the electroscope from third, fifth, maybe sixth row of the auditorium. Uh, but its uh, major drawback is that take a September day, uh, it's already hum hot humid outside, it's going to be hot and humid inside with the doors opening and closing at the start of class. And plus, you got a hundred sweaty students that have just migrated across campus into your room. So this generally does not work after about the first five, ten minutes of class. So that is the that is one particular note. Without further ado, let's move these plates as far away as they can go. And let's go ahead and charge this puppy. Um, so I'm charging the capacitor. Uh, this red wire is removable, and I do remove it while I'm still charging. And now I've isolated the capacitor and the electroscope from the Wimshurst generator. Um, what this demonstration does really well is when you bring the plates close together, you will see that the uh, angle of deflection on the uh, electroscope needle will start to uh, decrease. And I think that's about as close as I dare go. Well, let me see what I can do just with this knob. What I'm doing is doing fine vernier adjustment. And I think that uh, shows it pretty well. You know, backing off a little bit. So um, as the plates be closest, we're drawn back out again, as the plates close together, we'll notice that we're drawing charge. Just look at this as big C capacitor, little c capacitor. We're drawing charge from the electroscope because they're basically charge. If this needle's decreasing, the charge has to go somewhere. It's going to the variable plate capacitor when the plates are close together. One thing this uh, demonstration doesn't do as well uh, let me see if I can lock that down. A little knob there. That should be. Uh, let's try to show the effect on the charge on the electroscope when you have something that resembles a dielectric piece of dielectric material. And I'll try this two ways, but I'm out of practice. So what you're supposed to see is the needle deflex downward with the uh, big uh, chunk of PVC in there. And when I remove the PVC, the needle goes back up. Not as dramatic as the uh, first part of the demonstration, but it shows you a second way to change the electric field strength between the two uh, charge plates of the capacitor. Um, that's our parallel plate capacitor in a nutshell. Um, once again, let me reiterate that uh, the demo usually fails on a humid day uh, because the electroscope just bleeds off charge within one or two seconds of uh, charge, so it just doesn't last. So on that note, um, thank you for watching.